so for today we're going to be looking at the thunderhead pieces for the titans hunters you guys already got your video it's right here and if you guys want to see me review the actual armor set we go in depth of how how it looks how it shaders what i feel about the armor set uh it's right here if you guys want to check it out i'm really like that video a lot just because we really go through it but do you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it there's a lot of cool pieces in this set so let me know which one is your favorite and let's just look at these so the first one we're going to be using the helmet this one is really cool because it's a variation of my casual set that i've made a few times specifically the boots and the mark those two are like the casual sets the ones i the original pieces that i used but now it's using the Katoria gauntlets with the kogan beat plate these two are such a good combination and the really the the thing that i really want to tell you guys is the fact that make sure you always try to combine the Katoria gauntlets color with the Kogan beat a plate color as well, because unfortunately the Katoria gauntlets take the off color of the Kogan beats. So most of the time you'll see the arms be a completely different color than the actual chest piece. So I just really want to reiterate that, which is why I'm using cryptic insignia because it actually combines both of them into black, which is really, really cool for the boots. Lost Pacific agrees in combination with memory of Cade Mark. I think these two pair really well together. Unfortunately, there is some clipping on the right side uh, of the hip. I don't really care for it too much. It doesn't bother me just because I that's not the part I see most of all. I just see everything as a whole, which is why I really like it. But I do understand some people might have issues with that. If that is the case, then I would probably just tell you to use some of the other casual boots that we have in the game. Uh, Titans have quite a bit now. So at that point, you just go crazy and pick whichever one you like the most. Um, for the shaders, Jacarina is just the difference here with the helmet because I didn't like how the cryptic insignia looked and I wanted a blue color for the uh, actual uh, glow on the helmet. So this one, not, not a lot to talk about for this one. I just think it looks really, really cool. And this is definitely going to be in my repertoire, unfortunately. And this is a funny one. Uh, the whole set really, you, I mean, to be fair, I was going to say you can you can switch out the helmet for exotics, which is probably what I'll do. But on the other chat or the other side, you could just switch the boots out for anything else and it will still look good. Uh, just quickly, just to know like which exotics I'm talking about. You could use the peacekeepers. You could use the dune marchers. I've seen a band leap be really good with this probably. And this is going to be weird, but the path of the burning steps with some of the other other ornaments would look really cool. Even the base ornament look looks really good with it. So yeah, just mess around with it. You'll find something that looks really, really cool with it. As for the second set, this is basically my cowboy set that I made for this video. If I remember correctly, it was from the new ornaments from last season. I think it was last season. You guys will see when I show the video. But the difference is I'm taking the Heart of Inmost Light out and putting the Thunderhead chest piece in because I just think it looks really, really cool. Uh, nothing too much to explain on this one. I think the only things that I will explain is the fact that you can switch out a lot of these shaders for the new black shader that we got um, in Eververse. I think that would be an easy choice considering the Metro Shift has like two blue spots in the back for the helmet. Uh, Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets has this really weird like brown black and the Amethyst Veil for the Ancient Apocalypse Greaves have silver and a purple glow. So I definitely think the new black shader would just be all around better. But that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy to talk about for this one. Intrepid Exploit Mark is something I'm also using because that is part of the cowboy set. So let me know what you guys think about this one. For the next two, it's going to be two tactical sets that I made, and this one is rather bulky, but that's to be expected considering the boots are really bulky, which is what we're using the Thunderhead boots. For the helmet, we're using Exodus Dawn Helm in combination with the Phobos Warding Gauntlets. I really like how these two pair together because uh, if you guys see the left side of the helmet, you guys will see like almost like a camera thing. The right side of the Phobos Warden Gauntlet also has that, so that's why I'm using those. Uh, for the chest piece, we are going to be using the Actium War Rig in, in combination with the Grant's Vicksburg ornament. I think it looks really, really cool. Just be aware that the ornament takes off colors, which is why you see that really weird brown instead of black. And I think that's the only negative I can really say about it. I think it looks really cool. For the boots, obviously, we're using the Thunderhead boot. And then for the, or, and for the mark, we are using Wing Discipline. So 
this one's really cool. Oh, I should probably mention the venomous shader is what I use because the unfortunate thing about this boot is the fact that it takes off colors for the actual armor. So you're going to be fighting these boots a lot. But overall, I really do like this. Set. I think it is really, really cool. And I would pr like, honestly, I would probably just switch out the boots just because the boots are really, really massive and just switch them out with something that's on the that is tactical as well because titans do have tactical pieces my that's like my only issue just because these boots are not only really big but they also take the off color which is really annoying and then last but not least we're going to be using the mark for this one i know this people are going to be like wow the mark mostly because i usually never make the mark on a whole set the main reason is because i don't like the arms for the thunderhead which is why i didn't make a set for them for the helmet idol on pursuant helm in combination with the armamentarium is such a good cool like choice just because they look so cool together the intrepid exploit gauntlets is what i used for this one because i didn't want anything too bulky for the arms specifically the pauldrons because i don't think they look good with the armamentarium i think the armamentarium like strives when you use like small arms i think just think both of them look to great together for the boots, Wildwood Greaves was what I used just because it's the more tactical piece that I really like with the armamentarium. And then obviously we're using the mark, which I actually like with this set because you can have bullets in there and it just looks tactical. And if my The only gripe I can really tell you is I would probably switch out the arms for something tactical but small as well. Um, now that I think about it, no, I couldn't have used. I was thinking about using the Hardened Basilisk arms, but they unfortunately are not tactical. They're more like machine more than anything so that's like the only thing i'm nah, it would have been cool if i'll well, i'll try it again because i do like this set and armamentarium especially on a strand build is really really powerful so this is an actual viable set that i could use in my game uh but i just would have to switch out the arms for something small but tactical but yeah titans let me know what you guys think in the comments below i really really like a lot of these sets specifically the first one is super dope the fourth one is super dope the third one is super dope as well i just think the boots is just too bulky and i think the cowboy set is kind of like it's good i just don't know if i would ever use it because i would never take off a uh, heart of in most light so titans let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later